Welcome to No Codable, the YouTube channel where I share tips, tricks, and information on how to build production ready and enterprise applications, as well as business automations by leveraging nothing but no code and low code platforms. So, in this quick video, uh, I will show you how to add some styling to a repeating group uh, by alternating the row color. So, let's dive right in. So, in a previous video, I actually showed you how to do some pagination. Um, and add a little bit of functionality to your repeating groups in your tables. Uh, in this video, what I want to do is actually show you how to add a, uh, some styling to your table by art alternating the row color uh, of every other row here. So it's actually a lot easier than you might think. So within a repeating group, so I've got my repeating group here. Within this repeating group, there's no way in terms of uh, the styling um, to do anything but set the color of every row. It doesn't give you a way to sort of go about alternating the row color. Uh, but we can take care of it by, by doing a quick little trick here. So the first thing I'm going to do is group all these elements into a row group. And again, as always, I'm using the uh, Bubbles new responsive uh, uh, editor here. So let me grab all of these cells. And I'm going to just right click and group these elements in a row container. I'm not gonna do any additional styling uh, at this time, but you could certainly go into this and, and add some styling. But then all I've gonna do once I'm in here is uh, select my group and under conditional, I'm going to add a little, uh, um, a, a new condition that says, when this current sales index is well, actually it's not going to be is it's going to be modulo let's see two is zero so let me first explain um, what this expression means so so modulo is simply a way of um, dividing a number by something and seeing if there is a remainder or not. Uh, that, that's all this does. So what I'm essentially saying is, uh, give me the uh, index number of the current cell, divide it by two, and see if there's a remainder. So, so essentially what, I, what this does is, if there's no remainder, um, it's, it's gonna essentially perform this action. So, so this really gives you sort of the, a, a, I guess an odd and even type uh, scenario for each of these. So then all I want to do here is select my background and I'm going to select the, uh, set the style to a flat color. And then I'm going to set my background color uh, to something like a, just a, a really light gray here, just, just to show you sort of a difference. And so now if I go in and I look at my table, what you'll see is Again, each of the rows or alternating rows are colored differently. Uh, and I can go back and, and add a little more gray so you can see the, the difference here. But again, all my uh, odd rows uh, will not be styled. My even rows will because again, it, when you divide an even number by two, there will not be a remainder. So um, that's a quick and easy way to, to add a little bit of styling to your tables. Again, a couple things to, to, to keep in mind. So obviously in, in our repeating group, we're setting it to a type of content and a data source. So then in uh, when we group the individual elements, again, we're setting the type of content to a thing and the current sales thing, which gives us the ability to access current sales index. So there you go. Again, uh, just a, another quick and easy way to do a little bit of styling on your tables. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful. Again, in 2022, I plan on doing a, a lot more content like this. So if you find it helpful, I would appreciate it if you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be made aware of when I release new content. And additionally, tell your friends, um, let them know about this channel if you think uh, they would find it helpful as well. So that's it for today. Thanks so much for tuning in and happy no coding.